Oh man, this is it. This is the big haul. Finally got it. And um, long time coming. I know it's not a Lego haul, but um, this is probably the next best thing after Lego. And let's get this bad boy open up and take a look at what we got. Okay, here we go, man. This is Brick Barian. And I know this is not a Lego haul, but if I couldn't have Lego, this is probably the next best thing. Axe and Allies. If you watch the channel, you know I'm an avid player. Um, I have a buddy of mine. We play about uh, three, four times a year um, pretty regularly. I've playing this game for, oh gosh, 25 plus years. I uh, absolutely love it. Played in the military, played it uh, in high school, all the way through. Had most of the editions, not all of them, but this is the anniversary edition. And this is uh, a, basically a, a reprint of the uh, 2007 anniversary edition that came out celebrating the 40th anniversary of Axe and Allies. This, of course, is the 50th anniversary and the uh it's incredible this, this game is fantastic i mean when i was getting the game out like when you hold it like there's absolutely no like shaking you can't even like hear the parts moving around there it's packed so tight there's just so much great stuff with this game um i'd be talking and gushing for hours let's take a look at the back and see what we got okay here's the back of the game man um a couple things about this edition which is great uh number one it has China as a playable power and also Italy added as a playable power, um, which, of course, the uh, 2012, uh, 2012 um, mid-sized version did not have. The maps are relatively the same, but this also gives you, which I, well, the most important thing for me is the paper money, and also this. You're getting the white sculpts for the um, industrial complexes and the AA guns, which I prefer over the... Um, the, the 1942 uh, 2012 second edition release um everything's here that you need the a couple of editions here that you totally don't get with the other editions are um you get the battle board which is really nice you get the ipc chart which is great also but you also get the text in this version and the texts are not available um in the 2012 uh, second edition game uh, they took that out. That was in previous editions, like the revised back in 2004 game. And, of course, the original back in 1984, I think it was released. And they were producing the original game up until the late and early late 80s, early 90s. So um, the, I have most of the games in my collection. I don't have the original. Um, I did have two copies of the original. But over the years, I when I moved, I just I don't know where they are. I'm um, guessing they just didn't make it for whatever reason. So I have the revised. I have, um, I have Battle of the Bulge. I have basically everything else since then so i'm glad to get this one in my collection i did miss out on the uh 2007 they had the uh the anniversary edition the anniversary edition mentioned then um didn't get that and it was selling for crazy prices online uh like three years later like four or five hundred bucks a pop like, there's no way as much as i love this game i am definitely not <laughs> gonna pay 500 bucks for a board game um so I'm glad to see they re-released this for the 50th anniversary and you have everything you need it's an expanded game um, I think this is probably the one to play of all the versions. Uh, the global game is great. Um, it's, it's really detailed, intricate, but the board is like six feet long and it's just got so many rules with it. It takes you forever to play it. This one is a little more streamed down, a little more manageable. This could be played over the course of a weekend and just have a great time doing it. You're still getting pretty much all the great flavor of um, the global game, just a scaled down version. So if you're looking for a game to start with, this is probably the one. And you might as well get it now because I'm not sure how long it's going to be out in the shelves. I think all the way through 2018, you're probably safe. But moving in 2019, they'll probably start uh, disappearing. So if you're an Axe and Allies fan, man, get this game, enjoy it, and let me know how it goes. Tell me your first game is, and I will see you later. Bye.